When I started my own fat loss journey years ago, I did a lot of things wrong and I lost precious time and effort that I can never get back. Let's dive into exactly what I would do differently now at 37 years old with a lot of experience behind me. The first step is I would set up my morning routine to help rewire my mental systems. Instead of doing what I did back then, and this would be what a lot, I see a lot of guys doing now, and that is jumping right into a crazy diet, crazy workout routine, without any thought given to how we're doing things mentally every single day. Each day would begin with reviewing my vision for who I wanna become and the life that I wanna lead, along with five minutes of just practicing gratitude to get my head in a positive frame of mind. And then I would just quickly review the things I need to do for the day from a habits and routines perspective. And then honestly, I would just get right into doing the work. I truly believe that transformation starts from within. The body is going to follow the mind and a healthier body leads to a healthier mind. And it's just a, a really good relationship between the two. So we need to focus on both as we get started. The second thing I would do is I would go all in on tracking data. This is more for peace of mind, knowing that I'm doing the work and I'm ultimately gonna get the results I want because I'm literally just hitting the numbers I need to hit. Specifically, I'd be tracking my total calories, my total amount of protein that I'm eating per day, and along with that, I would be tracking my total steps for the day. For steps, I'd start with aiming for about 10,000 steps on average per day. Calories and protein would be a little more individual and would depend on my starting point. On step number three, I would follow a very consistent meal plan that tastes good, was easy to put together, and something I could just put on autopilot day after day. I'd be eating mostly the same type of meals most days during the week, just to keep things super, super simple. I used to try to include a ton of variety, and I'd also try to eat six, even seven times a day, every hour and a half to two hours, thinking that was speeding up my metabolism. But all it was really doing was keeping my appetite going crazy, and causing a lot of overwhelm when it came to actually putting together my meal plan. Now, I'd probably do no more than three meals a day. And I would probably just skip breakfast entirely and go right to lunch, maybe a small snack in the afternoon, dinner, and then a small meal an hour or two before bed. For calories, I'd aim for around 12 times my goal body weight. So for example, if I was 250 pounds and aiming to be 200 pounds, I'd start around 2,400 calories per day. This would give me a solid starting spot and I could always adjust up or down depending on what my body does. My meals would be centered around some basic foods like steak, potatoes, salmon, eggs, rice, and then I'd start building out some easy, delicious meals like homemade pizzas, steak tacos, burritos, and things that I enjoy using healthy ingredients. Step number four is I would make appointments with myself every single week, three to four 45 minute appointments so that I make time to work out and I don't allow any excuse to get in the way of my workout time. I keep my routine super simple. There's really no need for a ton of variety when it comes to working out. We wanna stick to the basics and focus on getting stronger on those basics over time, every few weeks, every month or so, starting to see results when it comes to how much weight we can actually lift. Studies show you don't really need a massive amount of volume and variety to start seeing progress when it comes to muscle gain and changing how you actually look aesthetically. Three to maybe five tough sets per body part per week is really all you need. You can add in some accessory work to add to your total volume, but just getting the basics done is really gonna lead to the best results. Last step, and this one is really crucial, so make sure you pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. My secret to success, if you will, and I strongly encourage you to take me seriously here because this is the truth. When it comes to all areas of my life that I've had tremendous success, whether it's business, relationships, or in this case, fitness, I strongly believe in hiring a coach. Coaching is something that I credit a lot of my success to in different parts of my life. I wouldn't be here talking to you today if it wasn't for some incredible coaches that I've been able to hire and invest in. A second set of eyes keeps you from overthinking the process, chasing shiny objects, and ultimately running around in circles, never getting anywhere, because you're trying to do 10 different things at once. Plus it really does speed up results. I call it collapsing time, because you get to download other people's expertise 
and figure out what actually works, what doesn't, so you can put your time and energy into the things that actually get you results. If you made it to this point in the video, I have a free guide that will help you get started on this path. It's my way of giving you some free coaching now that you've seen what I would do to go from 30 plus percent body fat down to 10% body fat, I'd love to help you get started on this journey. And ultimately, if down the road you need to hire a coach, you can check out our programs. The links are in the description below. My name is Josiah Novak. I run a company called thetruetransformation.com. Check out the free guide, get started today, and I'll talk to you on the next one. See you later. Peace.